YouTube. I'm back. What's going on, YouTube? Well, I got a small unboxing video and a whole bunch of ranting. Don't worry, it's not a lot of negativity, but I don't have a lot of friends, so you guys like my counselors. You know what I mean? I just gotta kind of gripe to y'all. If you own pets, I don't mean to offend you. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder, like, we have a dog. It's a, a rescue dog. Okay? And when we got her, her name was Baby. Origin unknown. She's a Chihuahua. Age unknown. We've had her for probably about five, six years. Most of the time, great dog. Sometimes, I don't know what is wrong with her. Like, she's a horrible watchdog. She has a weird disposition where she's she thinks she's a human. She sits on her butt all the time. Like, she won't sit on hardwood floors. Like, my big gripe with her today, though, mailman comes, knocks on the door. She peeks out from underneath her covers in her little baby bed under her baby blanket. Looks at the door. Looks at me like, are you going to get that? Like I was bothering her. <laughs> and I shit you not. Like this is a true story. So I'm like, okay. I mean, obviously she wasn't going to answer the door anyways. I get up, answer the door. And this huge box. Like, literally, I mean, it's almost as tall as my chair. This huge box comes today. And that's where the second part of my gripe comes in. Because I'm almost to the point where I'm going to trade the dog away. Um, I've been keeping my eye on this little chipmunk that we have that hides underneath our porch. Um, like, he peeks out through the lattice work and stuff. Like, I think he likes me. We're kind of cool. Um, I haven't started feeding him breadcrumbs or training him or anything yet. I think he'd be a better, like, guard animal than Daisy would. Um, Daisy's going to be pissed, but I think the chipmunk might have possibilities. Why you ain't bark when the mailman came? Huh? Why you ain't bark when the mailman came? He going to bring that big old package on the porch and you ain't even tell nobody? And I'll be, don't you be scratching on my couch? Huh? Where was you at? What was you doing? Just let us know. No, no nobody want to see all that. No, nobody want to see all that. You got to do better. You about to get replaced by the chipmunk who lives underneath the porch. Yeah. The second part of my little rant and rave, this box is ginormous. Um, not to get into what exactly it is just yet, because this ain't really that type of video, but, um, it's one of those things that you buy something with anticipation that it's going to be what you think it's going to be. And then when it gets here and it may or may not turn out to be that, it kind of leaves you with a different feeling inside I think that's where I'm at with it right now like I anticipated this particular toy for like two years because it took forever for them to make it I bought it on like a pre-order because I was on the original like kickstarter list and now that it's finally here and I see how big it is I'm like oh my god I had all intentions to put it in between those two uh, uh, He-Man displays on top of my little heater unit. My little pl fake fireplace. I was going to get rid of that stuff. Set it right there. Great display piece. I never plan on opening the box anyways because, I mean, let's face it. I'm a little bit too old to be playing with toys anyways. But I do like to collect toys. Um, whether it be Funko Pops, whether it be Masters of the Universe... Like, honestly, they're really tempting me with this new uh, G.I. Joe line. I just... Man, with, with comics right now, they're really taking priority over what I'm collecting. So, it's kind of like, eh. 
Yeah, I don't know if I really want to jump into that new uh, um, G.I. Joe line. But I think it's a really cool line. Um, I like the scale of the figures. But this box has me like rethinking my decision making skills when it comes to what I buy. Because it wasn't even an impulse buy. I could understand if it was an impulse buy. And then it gets here and I'm like, oh my god, that's huge. What am I going to do with it now? It wasn't even an impulse buy. And they explained, like, what the measurements were for it. But I don't think I fully grasped just how big it was. And I'm hoping once I unbox it, it maybe doesn't turn out to be... Maybe there's, like, a lot of stuffing and stuff in there to kind of keep it secure through the shipping process. Because the weird part is it has this hard plastic corner on one of the corners. But there's tape on every corner as if every corner at one point had that little plastic piece. So, I don't know. Well, our first box. Let's uh, unpackage both packages. First box was a Facebook uh, waffle. Uh, I ended up winning it, I think, for 13 bucks. Wasn't uh, anything overly impressive. But, surprising enough, I actually didn't have a lot of these. Um, if anybody knows or has been watching the channel, um, huge Spider-Man fan. Eh, they're in pretty good shape, too. Put them in order, and then we'll go through them real quick. Uh, hmm, what number that one is. about right okay yep like I said 13 bucks and I got what I think is 14 books out of it yeah 14 and it is the whole maximum carnage storyline cool thing is I have a couple copies of uh uh, Spider-Man Unlimited number one. But like some of these other ones, like Web of Spider-Man, I don't collect that series, so I don't have that one. So that's number two. I got this one. It's Amazing Spider-Man uh, 378. I probably have this one because it's Amazing Spider-Man 35. I don't collect Spectacular Spider-Man, so I don't have that one, which was 201. I don't have Web of Spider-Man, obviously. 101. I more than likely do have this one. And that one. Don't have that one. Or didn't have that one. Didn't have that one. Did have that one. Probably had that one. And then... It's an awesome cover. Like, I love that cover didn't have that one and I didn't have that one so and like I said picked up the whole set um, I think I bought two slots in his auction and the grand total was like 13 bucks so can't really beat that the next package is actually from Toy Tokyo um, this was part of their uh, I'm assuming it was the I don't know. I can't remember. It was one of the, the last conventions. I don't know if it was the New York Comic Con or San Diego Comic Con. Because my cons are all jacked up this year because they actually didn't take place. So it's kind of hard to follow what's going on with them and whatnot. But I did get through on their website. Uh, it was the only thing that I wanted from this con with the exception of the stuff that I already picked up. Um, I did get Mr. Compass, uh, My Hero Academia Funko Pop, uh, the Red Goblin. I want to say there was one other one. It's sitting on the table, but there's something sitting on top of it, so I can't even see it. But, like I said. Uh, 
Funko Soda. This is actually uh, my first one. Um, I don't know if I want to bust it open or not. Eh, it's Masters of the Universe, so let's go ahead and do it. Because I know there is a chance to get a chase out of here. Like I said, this is my first time ever having the... Oh, man, I probably shouldn't have did that. Because uh, it did have the Toy Tokyo uh, little sticker thing on there. Oh, well. I don't plan on getting rid of it, so... I don't know how exactly you open these things up. I don't know if it's a screw-off top or it just pulls. Oh, okay. Hmm. There's a little card down in the bottom or some little plastic piece. Oh, it's kind of mushy. It smells like brand new toy, too. Mmm, that new toy smell. And I think this is just the regular version. Oh, no. I think this might be the Chase version because it's metallic. Well, that's cool. Huh. I had to look that up online and see if that's what the Chase was, was the metallic version. But he kind of got some, like, shiny silver paint on. Like I said, first time ever having the little soda ones. Funko sodas. But kind of neat. You'll get some display time somewhere. Limited 3,000 pieces. Yeah. Pretty cool. I ended up getting their bundle. Um, they offered a bundle where you could get their whole set or you could try your luck to try to get the other ones but like they were selling out instantly. So I just went ahead and got the bundle. That way, at least I know I got what I really wanted. And then I end up with some stuff that I probably don't care too much about. Like, uh, Envy Adams. Um, don't, not sure where the hell this was from. Scott Pilgrim versus the world. Okay. Yeah. This one I won't open up because maybe I'll use it as trade bait. If somebody really wants it, I'll trade it off for... Maybe one of the other sodas that are Masters of the Universe. Because I actually collect that. I don't really collect the Scott Pilgrim stuff. Toy Tokyo box. Ninja. Minty as usual. This is the second time that I've actually got lucky with uh, Toy Tokyo exclusives from... This was New York Comic Con uh, 2020. I also got lucky with uh, San Diego Comic Con ones. So I ended up getting Clawful and Blast Attack. But I got Ninja. And the last one is... King Hiss. I was stoked. The crazy thing is, like, this this sale was, like, maybe a almost a month ago. Like, I don't know what took them so long. I don't know if they actually didn't have product in hand whenever San Diego Comic-Con date, virtual con was going on. I don't know what exactly the holdup was, but I wasn't in no hurry, so I just didn't pay it no attention. I mean... They had took their money, so I knew I was going to get my product. At least I was hoping. But, yeah. So, the whole point of buying it was really these. And then, on top of it, I ended up getting a Chase Soda. So, that's pretty cool. That's really it. I mean, those were the two unboxings for today. Like I said, I wanted to rant about my, my dog not uh, protecting the house when you got a delivery man bringing a box that literally I think that box has to weigh about 85 pounds like I don't remember what I paid for shipping I just know it was a really expensive it was the most expensive toy that I've ever purchased yeah I just I was, wish you guys could really uh, understand the, the magnitude of how big this box is like, it is literally, I mean, these are, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe 10 by 10s. 
I can't fit an omnibus in there. It's just barely too small. And it's literally almost as tall as that. And damn near as wide. Like, I mean, it's it's probably all of the end to right there. Crazy, ridiculous, big box. I don't know. But I'll be unboxing it shortly. Let you guys in on the fun. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think about this haul. And if anybody knows, is the metallic one supposed to be the the chase for the sodas? Because... I'm really not sure. And I mean, on the back of the can, it just shows like a regular version of Spike Ore. So, I don't know. Maybe I got lucky. Maybe I got the chase. I got to find a cool place to stick him now. All right, y'all. I ain't going to hold you. Um, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you know if that's the chase, <laughs> drop that in the comments below. Tell me what you guys think.